That was not as loud as I wanted it. Hold up. <coughs> Goddamn. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry for the nonsense and the unnecessary just doing whatever. Loki, can I sit? Let's not talk about the outfit. I'm going to the thrift store later and I don't want to look like a threat. Okay, I'm trying to look like a little kid. So I don't look like a threat, okay? As you saw from the title, this is a thank you and a reflection. I don't know if I should start with the thank you or the reflection first. I think we should do a mix of both, but at the same time, that's not good. Anyways, thank you. Like, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for getting me to 100 subscribers. That is fucking crazy to me because it's just... I've had 79 subscribers for the longest time because, I don't know, I felt like I was doing YouTube just to do YouTube. I wasn't doing YouTube just to like, I don't know, I was doing it for fun, but at the same time I was like, fuck, like, the audience isn't even growing, like, fuck, like, like it's not even going anywhere, like, oh, anyways, long story short, I never thought I could ever get to the triple digits. So, thank you guys so much for getting me 100 subscribers, it's fucking insane. I know that there's only like, like about 30 of y'all that are real, and the other half are like me. But thank you regardless. I would love to do a giveaway or some shit, but I am negative 1600, so I don't think I can do that. I could barely buy, <laughs> I could barely buy groceries. Okay, let's just say that. Anyways, nonetheless, thank you. I just want to say that again because 100 is a big deal to me. I don't know if that's a big deal to anybody else, but it is a huge deal to me because that is an audience regardless. If it's small or big or whatever, that is an audience and that's always my end goal with YouTube was to gain some sort of audience, just like a little one or even a medium one, whatever. I just, I wanted some sort of audience because I like to, <sighs> I'm an attention whore and I like entertaining regardless if it's bad entertainment, medium entertainment or good in entertainment. I've always just wanted to entertain to some sort of degree. But yeah, also, so I just want to say, like, for future videos, I will be trying my best to make them sort of entertaining. I know my previous videos are very boring. I will admit that, because when I'm done editing it, I'm like, holy shit, like, this video is so good, and then I'll upload it, and then I watch it, and I'm like, oh, okay, embarrassing, but, you know. Like, my most previous video, I think I worked the hardest on that one, it wasn't even good. It was actually so embarrassing. And so cringe and I didn't like it at all. Also with the outfit, my boyfriend's aunt came, gave this to me and then my boyfriend's mom gave this to me. Slut. So long story short, thank you guys so much for 100 subscribers. That is fucking insane and I do promise to work harder on YouTube videos. I will not be doing gaming videos anymore. I, I'll leave that to Twitch so if you want to watch gaming content you can follow my Twitch. I really go live anymore because I don't really play Valorant as much but when I do I stream so if you're into that you can go there YouTube's gonna be just anything just not gaming because I think gaming is just I'm not good at the game let's be for real bro I'm not good at the game and so for a reflection I wanted to just say like how I was before gaining this sort of audience I don't even think anyone's gonna watch my YouTube videos I think how I gained the audience was literally by YouTube Shorts. I repost my TikToks that, you know, I really liked. I like doing TikTok. TikTok is fun. Um, embarrassing or not, it's fun. Okay, I find it fun. So I post on TikTok. And I reposted it just as because, like, I saw a lot of people that repost. So I was like, oh my god, let me do that. And then it just, my audience grew from there. So I don't know if anyone's going to watch the actual YouTube videos. But anyways... Um, I honestly think, I know numbers don't matter, but I feel like when the num- like when I saw numbers going up, I don't know how to explain it, but it just like woke me up, and I can confidently say that I am very happy now. I feel like something as a hobby, seeing it grow, kind of made me just really content. It made me very content about what I- what I like doing for fun. And seeing that other people enjoy it as well. I don't know if you guys enjoy it or you just like love laughing at me. Or like bullying me, but it's okay. I'll take what I can get. I don't know how to explain, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like TikTok and YouTube saved me. In terms of making me realize what I want to do in life. Not YouTube, obviously. I don't really want to do, I'm not going to do YouTube for 
my life but it is something in terms of it's something that has made me happy but I was scared to admit that it made me happy so seeing numbers go up it kind of is like now I feel like I am allowed to be happy about making YouTube videos if that makes sense but yeah I just want to say thank you guys it's been a hard 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 beginning of the year last year was I think the worst year of my life I don't know I feel like I feel like ever since I started posting on YouTube again, I felt like this upward spiral has a, has has come, I guess. And I'm very, I'm in a good place. I've learned to be a better friend. I learned to be a better partner. I learned to have more of a work ethic. I learned discipline. Um, I'm still lazy, but I feel like I'm better at being lazy like I've managed it better I have you know organized and also even discovered some potential mental illnesses that are working against me that you know I'm not gonna get diagnosed I just know that like maybe this is how my brain works so now I know my I have to work harder to counter that um, so yeah it's like I feel like I've become better as a person that my if my shirt was wet, I just washed my face, okay? So let's not think I drooled, okay? Thanks. But I just feel like I'm a better person, and I'm just in a better place. I'm very confident now. I feel like back then I was very insecure. I feel like in my YouTube videos, I sort of push out this portrayal that is not me. I feel like I'm very... I feel like by myself I'm very chill, but when I'm in a group... Or when I'm in front of a camera, all of a sudden I want to force this outgoing personality out, when it's, which I'm not outgoing whatsoever. I don't like. I'm not an outgoing person, let's just say that. So, I will practice and work on that to be more authentic and more genuine. Not that I'm saying like any of my old videos weren't genuine, I feel like it was just forced. So, yeah. That's all I gotta say, bro. That's all I gotta say. I, I know this video is probably boring because I'm just talking and not doing anything and not showing anything, but this is just honestly a genuine thank you to getting me 100 subscribers because that, like, even though half of them are me, I don't know the emails I use to subscribe to myself, but it's like still, it's a big milestone for me and I just want to say thank you again. I would love to give something away, but I just don't have the money nor the resources, so... Regardless, thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a great day. I hope you find a way to be confident in saying that you're happy. So yeah, thank you guys so much, and I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you're surrounded by amazing people, and if you don't have any amazing people, I don't have that many friends. So you can DM me. I'm not a good replier though, but I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it, but you can do that. So yeah, bye bye Thank you guys. Also, let's show you guys my mics. I can't get both right now because one just gen genuinely doesn't want to come out. Um, I think this is Stimmy. Brimmy looks more sick. I don't know, whenever I go, since I got, okay, also, so this is Stimmy. And then the other one's gonna be Brimmy. You can hear her. I don't know if that's a sign that she likes. She's happy or she's not. I heard that that's a good sign, but I don't know. I don't- I know that mice are like more viewing pets. That's why I don't take them out as often. I don't take them out at all actually, to be honest. But yeah, this is Stimmy and the other one's Brimmy. So if you don't know, they're named after a Valorant character named Brimstone. Because Brimstone, his nickname is Brimmy. And then he has a Stimmy. So yeah, I would get Brimmy out, but Brimmy is a more weak. I would say, like, when I got her, she was pretty weak. I got them from, like, a reptile place. They were supposed to be fed to snakes, but um, I got them. So people said that feeder mice are not as healthy as, like, regular pet mice, but, like, I love them, so shut up. So yeah. Anyways, that was the end message, just because I, they're new. So I might as well show you guys. Alright, bye.